We get a look at the Ravens' first play. It's first and 10, uh, first offensive play, that is. Um, it's interesting, a uh, bit of an offset sort of diamond look here. Uh, interesting that they have these three linebackers set uh, so far to the boundary. Uh, that's certainly going to play into J.K. being able to get the, the edge here. Let's watch the play, and then let's look at some of the blocks and uh, uh, some of the running. Also, that, that split flow out of um, the other two backs, the rest of the backfield, uh, pulls these linebackers down. Um, Andrews is going to cut the end. And uh, Ronnie's going to cut off one of the linebackers' backside right there. Pretty good cut by Mark. Good enough. Uh, Bozeman does a good job coming off this double and giving a, a nice drive pancake here to uh, one of the linebackers. But, um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Or I haven't heard yet uh, about the Dobbins injury specifically. Uh, but you see the end here really drive uh, the Nueva back. Kind of works inside. Probably not a great idea, but you see how quickly um, Dobbins reads that. How quickly he makes up his mind and then how fast he is out here to get the edge. You see great decision making. Really good little juke here to pick up an extra five as well. Watch it again. Get a three by one look here. This is the second play of the drive um, with Do Dobbins released into the flat. So, an effectively a four receiver side mark the solo to the bottom of your screen. Um, just a quick look to the linebacker underneath here, and he and Mark are on the same page. Just a quick little out. Uh, you got to take that on first down. Uh, the defender makes a nice play. You see Mark kind of slip. Uh, I think we pick up three, so pretty good play for the defense. Not a bad play for us as well. Oliver is the inside receiver to this side, the pre presumptive uh, third tight end. You see two hitches and a release deep uh, from Oliver, but uh, they pretty much have their mind made up here. Uh, uh, do Andrews and Lamar right off the ball. Watch it again. This is immediately on the heels of the out uh, where he hit Mark for three yards on first down. So Lamar makes a beautiful throw here. Uh, he's reading this side of the field, but most specifically he is reading this cornerback um, and he is being put in conflict. Uh, Mark's the inside receiver. He's going to run a seam and over. Uh, empty set, obviously. You're going to see two um, five-yard ends. Uh, by the number one and number two receivers. And again, Lamar is uh, watching uh, this DB here, uh, and they're putting him in conflict. If he drives, Lamar is going to read that uh, and shoot the ball over the defender here and hit Mark on this uh, over route. And that's what happens. As soon as he starts to drive, Lamar is going to pull the ball up, get rid of it. Nice, easy throw or in terms of its motion. Beautifully placed. Really, really fine throw. Uh, so again, you're watching these two routes as being five yards and in this defender. Should he hang out, Lamar is going to hit the outside route more than likely. Uh, because he drives on the route, he finds Mark on the over. There are two plays on this drive I really don't want to watch. Uh, this is one of them. Um, Lamar is under center. Pat uh, has been moved over. They're going to run this weak and into the boundary that is away from the tight end. You see that same sort of boundary shift by the uh, uh, Washington linebackers. Um, Lamar's going to pitch this. He's going to follow. That is, J.K. is going to follow Pat Ricard. Uh, two great things happen here. One is the block by Pat. Uh, the the, the uh, run by J.K. is the other. Really, really nice run. We'll look at it in a second. Let's watch the block uh, out front. Uh, good job by Ronnie to get on this 4-I, seal him right here, seal the edge. And Pat's going to try to, to, to uh, reach, and if not, just drive, just maul this guy. And watch him push him to the sideline. This guy's trying to get outside, and Pat will let him do it. Watch Pat get on his hip right here and turn him upfield now. 
Uh, and JK gets so skinny between that uh, inside of Pat's block, turns uh, a, a, what may have been a loss. We'll look at that into, a, I guess, a seven-yard gain here. Again, Lamar under center. They're running away from the tight end into the boundary. Watch this. Uh, one of these linebackers, the middle linebacker, 51, is going to come clean through. Uh, J.K. reads that. Now watch the jab. That forces this linebacker to stop his feet and give up the angle right there. And we'll watch it fast. You'll see how quick and subtle that is, but it's everything. That little move right there is everything. Backer stops his feet, loses the angle, any angle that he had, uh, and J.K. has him right there. He's able to swat that arm away. And I love how he finishes here. You know, that, that could have been, I don't know, three yards in the backfield. Uh, watch the footwork, how smooth he is, how subtle he is right there. Both uh, Edwards and Dobbins are really, really decisive backs. Um, Ravens are doing a good job running the ball here early uh, without a ton of bells and whistles. They're just playing uh, zone zone right here, a split zone right. Um, Oliver's going to, I don't know where they motioned him from, but he's going to come over and try to get on the end man. He doesn't do, do a great job, but we're going to climb uh, Stanley and Bozeman. Stanley gets the backside backer. Bozeman does a good job here, I think. We're just trying to pick up this first down. Uh, probably my favorite block is Ben Powers. Comes over and gets this one uh, as the center climbs. And Gus is going to run it right off his backside. He's going to turn and seal that out. Good job kind of swinging his hips around just enough. Again, you see this end man get in on this play. Watch it again. We'll see Lamar look off the uh, safety. We can't tell where this deep safety is here. Uh, if he's on Mark's side or the three receiver side or the middle of the field, he comes into the picture very late. You can see Mark's doubled here. Uh, Lamar looks just for an instant opposite, and then he comes back. The Ravens are going to have to be able to hit these throws more often than they did last year. There's no question. Uh, they have to command the respect of a safety over the top, um, and they have to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. Uh, you've got a bit of separation there. If the throw is a little better, you probably have a completion. Watch it again. The Ravens had good success with this uh Zeitler's un uncovered here. He's just going to climb. Uh, really devastating blocks on the right side here. Everybody's zone right here. Uh, and this guy's going to work upfield and outside. Uh, Villanueva's going to let him and just going to throw him to the ground. Uh, really decisive running by the, the running back here. Awesome job by Zeitler. Looks like he's going to be a big upgrade at the uh, right guard position look at that and Gus runs right off of him now Zeitler or excuse me um, left guard is going to have to come across a little bit here I have to say I'm not sure the Ravens are settled at left guard uh, not by a long shot I mean some of it may come down to um, who's better on, on the move pulling I didn't think Phillips looked good in the two preseason games in that regard but he's three yards in the backfield here. Um, Edwards really gets through that hole in a hurry, uh, so that does him some favors. Uh, uh, to his credit, he does manage to stay attached, but, um, yeah, that's not what you want to see right there. It's first and ten. This is the first of two sacks on the opening drive. So I'm concerned about that. Uh, you can see right here that the left, or excuse me, the right guard uh, is being beat. I think the first look will lead you to believe both guards get beat. That's just a nice rip and move um, by the three tech. Uh, Lamar feels that. Uh, there's an argument to be made that Lamar should get rid of this football to the flat or even underneath on first down. But you know, you're always gonna be dealing with that um, with Lamar. Um, it's a pretty good chance he could kind of take off with this thing too. 
Uh, it's just that the out or the guy over Powers makes a play. Uh, as I said, from the onset, you might think about Powers, and this isn't great. He's lunging here. But I think he sh it's reasonable to expect that Bozeman helps him off the ball here. The three tech works out side of him. Bozeman really whiffs, doesn't get any part of the hip here. Uh, so he doesn't help at all uh, in driving or stopping the feet. Uh, you can see Ben at the last second here. He understands he's going to get called for a hold. Um, you see him pull his hands away right there. Uh, it's the combination of these two. Uh, Alejandro is an interesting study, man. This is an effective block. Watch him rip. See him. Watch him rip the hands down right, right off the ball. Here. He's just a, a brute. Wham! Just stops the feet. He's pretty relaxed. See him shoot there. And even though this guy's got uh, the corner kind of turned on him, watch him kind of uh, uh, load up and just shove this guy wide. Uh, that guy just makes a play. Again, I think Bozeman really might have been able to help just a little bit uh, better here by getting on the hip of this defender. Enjoy watching Alejandro here, and Zeitler just gets beat. Not sure what there is for the quarterback to do really here. He's got to make a decision quickly to get rid of the ball. It's first down, uh, and apparently nothing's uh, wide open, and he does not uh, look to the flat. Let's watch it again. I'm skipping over the screenplay where Dobbins is injured. This is third and 10. Um, pre uh, the protection's not great here. You do see Zeitler sort of struggle again. Um, Stanley kind of loses late. A lot of this to me, though, is, um, you know, Lamar in preseason form. You know, he looks just a little unsettled there. Uh, I think he's taken, a, what, a grand total of six or seven snaps so far, and he kind of runs right into this. You do not want to see him take these hits here. Um, so hopefully this is a good thing for them to kind of go up a team against a team that can get pressure. Um, but it wasn't great to see them give up two sacks on one drive. 